what would you say then have been some of the common resistance to change for data initiatives? Yes. I think there's, I would say there's actually a bottom up reasons and there are top down reasons. I would say the bottom up ones are usually that there's this missing clarity on why another change is needed. Again, going mm-hmm. back to people being animals of habit, right? They, if they got used to certain things working, they don't see and they don't necessarily understand the reason why they now need to adjust to a new way of doing things again, if the previous way was working. So that clarity to tell them why exactly a change is needed, why the old way is not working, or why a new way is the better way of working, that has to be just really thorough and really trickling down to all of the operational people as well. Mm -hmm. And top down is the more difficult and critical one, I would say, even. Because that comes from C-level people or or other top leaders in the organization visibly uh, not believing in data and not at all, right? Like, let's say, for example, there you're showing them a report and they say, no, I don't, I disagree with the numbers. We're going to make our own decisions not based on these numbers after all. And if that is being made aware of with everyone, then there's no motivation at all anymore um, to do anything with data, right? It's like, Mm. Okay, if our leaders don't even believe in what we're doing, then what's the point of doing all of this? And that can be so really head, tricky. Right? <laughs> exactly. Again, that, that goes back to the point that you need to create that buy-in and that and advocacy and collaboration with the right stakeholders in the first place. It, the key should be to not to prevent these situations to happen in the first place and to have made them aware and make them being on board as early as possible. So you don't get these kind of bad surprises. And as long as you keep basically the operational people, the technical people, and the um, strategic people all aligned with what you're doing, then you can maybe, basically, you can definitely reduce the resistance and you can just keep going. But staying on top of resistors and seeing how and why they are behaving that way and dealing with it in a timely manner is really key. Yeah. I think also you've got to look at like external factors. If you look at the pandemic, like work from home was obviously some companies did it. That's just completely changed the the situation now, hasn't it? Like now it's obviously the hybrid approach seems to be the most popular one. And then even obviously data previously, people were hesitant on the project, weren't they? I guess you've had the LLM boom and then that's just completely shifted mindset, hasn't it? Them sort of factors do impact, don't they? The people's perspectives on things. Yeah, I think obviously you got to bear in mind that as well, haven't we? Absolutely. 